In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about the very first couple of things that we need to do to get ourselves prepared for either doing a predictive model inside of Ekahal or getting ready for a validation survey. And that is importing floor plans and scaling them. And I'm going to show you the different types of floor plan file types that we support and then how we can scale them either using the metric system, which is meters or the imperial system, which is feet. I personally like to use the metric system, but if you're a feet or imperial kind of guy or girl, then I'm going to show you how you can do that inside of our Ekahal AI Pro application. So let's take a look. When we first open up Ekahal AI Pro and have a blank project file, it's actually very good at letting us know what we need to do to get started. And what we can see here is that we've got a nice big blue button in the middle of the screen that's telling us that we need to add a floor plan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on that button. And what it's gonna do is gonna take us to a folder where I have got some different types of floor plan file type examples to show you. So starting from the bottom going up towards the top, I've got a PNG example, a PDF example, and then a CAD example. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this PNG example first, but I just want to call out that we do also support JPEG files as well. So let me open that. And what we can see when we now open this floor plan file type inside of Echo AI Pro is that it's actually an American football field. And the very next thing that we need to do once we've imported a floor plan into Egerhal is that we need to scale it. So at the moment down here, what we can see is that the map says that it's got no scale. So it's really important when we import a floor plan is that we scale our floor plans accurately. Everything is calculated based on the distance. So I just want to take a moment to pause and emphasize how critical it is that we get our scaling accurate for when we are importing our floor plans for our predictive models or for when we're doing our validation surveys. So please make sure you ensure you take the time to accurately scale your floor plans or your project files. So what we can see that we've got here is the American football field and then going from goal line to goal line, this is actually 300 foot. So how do we scale a floor plan inside of Eckerhal? What I need to do is if I come over here and I go next to where this select tool is and I go to what looks like a ruler, this is our scaling tool. So if I click on this and it now highlights it and goes blue, what I need to do now is I need to draw from the, uh, the line, the goal line to the other goal line and then tell it how far that distance is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna left click on the floor plan and I'm going to just drag my mouse all the way across to the other goal line where I'm happy. And then what I do is I release my left click and then what I need to do now is type in 300 and then hit enter. And then what you can see now is that it's given a distance to that pixels. So now when we go to do our predictive model using this floor plan, Ekahal now knows the distance of our floor plan. Now that we have scaled our first floor plan file type, the PNG file, and we use the Imperial system, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how we can import a different file type, that PNG file type, then I'm going to switch to scaling in the metric system and then show you how we do that. But first of all, how do we import an additional floor plan to our existing project file? We need to go down to here where we've got the map and then next to our floor plan name, I can click on these three little dots. And we have a few options here. So we can first of all add another map, which is what I'm about to do. If I wanted to rename the map, I can do that by clicking on that option. If I need to crop or rotate the map, maybe there's a lot of white space around my floor plan and I wanna just focus in on just where the floor plan actual information is, I can do that. If we need to rotate it as well, we can do that here. If I want to duplicate the map, I can also swap the map out for another image or I can remove the map entirely. So I'm going to go ahead and click on add map and then I'm going to import the PDF example. So I hit open and the PDF file has now opened up inside of our Echo AI Pro application. And what we can see is that we've got a small office here. And I said I was going to show you how we do it in the metric system, which is meters instead of the imperial system, which is in feet. So what I need to do is I need to go up to my Echo AI Pro and then click on preferences. And then you have the option here for our length unit, which at the moment is in feet. I'm going to switch that to be meters and then I'm going to hit save. Now I can see on this floor plan that we have actually got a scale that I can use to scale this floor plan. So if I just zoom in over here, what you can see 
is that we have got a scale and it's showing us that the scale is going from zero to four meters. So what I can do is I can just scale from left here where it's zero and go all the way across to where the four is, remembering to hold down my left button on my mouse or trackpad. And then when I get to that point, I just release it and then I type in four and it's gonna now scale it at four meters, which is fantastic. I have now got a scale for my floor plan. Uh, but one thing that I just want to talk about before we move on is a common mistake that I see happen when people are scaling floor plans. Uh, and what they do is that they usually will use something like a door to scale their floor plan. So let's say if I just zoom in on this door here now, for example, what I see a lot of people do is they will just go to where we've got a door on the floor plan, they'll scale across and what they will actually do is use one meter for that distance of a door. It's a very common thing to happen. Um, but what you can see here is that now that I have scaled it using the scale, that it's actually only 0.8 of a meter, that door width. So you might be thinking, huh, oh, Matt, 0.2 of a meter, does that really make much of a difference if I haven't scaled that properly there? And the answer is yes, it makes a huge difference. And why does it make such a difference? Because if you think if you're out by 0.2 meters on the first meter and you've got a very large floor plan, let's say that goes over 100 meters, that 0.2 of a meter now turns into 20 meters. So that's a huge, huge difference. So a big tip here is that always, if you can go on site and validate the scale. And what I use is a handy little laser measure tool. It's a very cheap tool. This, I think I paid 15 pounds or it could be $20 worth, depending on where you are. But I always go and I'll find some walls and I will use a laser measure to scale, to, to, sorry, not to scale, but to get the distance for my scale accurate because it's so, so important that we get our scaling accurate for our floor plans. So please be careful when you're doing your scaling inside of your floor plans. Let's now go ahead and import that final file type that I wanted to show you today in this video, which was the CAD example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to these three little blue dots. I'm gonna go and hit add map. And then this time I'm gonna be importing this CAD example, the .dwg file type, and I'm gonna hit open. And what you're gonna notice now is that actually we get a lot of different options to select before we import the file type into Echo AI Pro. But the first thing that I wanna do is actually just draw your attention to the top right hand corner where it says that there's two layouts available. So I always go here first and I take a look at the layout options inside of the CAD file before I start to select some of the other options that we saw there. And what we wanna do here is we wanna find the best model or the layout inside of the CAD file for that's got the cleanest floor plan file type before we import it. So I can see on this one, it's got a lot of white space around the floor plan and a lot of additional text on the right hand side, which I'm not really that interested in. I'm more focused on just looking at this version, which is more uh, just purely focusing on the detail in the middle of the floor plan. So I'm gonna hit select now. And then now when we're selecting the options that we have inside of the floor plan, we are now gonna be doing it on this model, not the other one. So if we work our way over here, we have the option to rename the floor plan. So I can change the name here and I could say rename. You can rename it to whatever you would like it to be. And then another cool thing here is that we've got uh, the blue scaling tool. So what does that mean? Is that means that Ekahal can automatically read the scale of the floor plan of the CAD file if it has it. So we can see that there is a scale here and it's automatically assigning a 19.7 meter distance for that scale. Tip here is if even if a CAD file has got a scale, always, always make sure that the scale is still accurate. Don't necessarily always believe the scale on the floor plan. Make sure you validate that yourself. So let's take a look now on the left hand side at the really interesting part of importing a CAD file. And that's the fact that inside of a CAD file, we have something that's called layers. And layers are typically assigned to different values of the floor plan. So what Ekahal can do is it can read what those layers are, and then it can actually automatically assign different attenuation values to the different layers. So for example, where we have the doors here, if I click on this, what you'll see on the floor plan is that all of the doors have now turned blue. So Ekahal has been able to read that this layer name is a door and it's assigned the door solid wood 6 dB attenuation value to these materials. 
But let's say that you didn't want to uh, assign a 6 dB attenuation loss to the doors. What you can do is if you click on the drop down and you scroll down now between the different types of wall attenuation values that we have here, you could assign it to be a 4 dB door for either Hollywood or interior office if you would like to. So if I'm going to do that, then the other things that is found here is the elevator shaft, the exterior walls, and I'm going to scroll down to these walls here, which is the internal dry walls. And what you can see the how much blue happens when we click on this option uh, is that Ekahal can automatically draw all of these walls for you which is gonna save us a bunch of time when it comes to doing our predictive modeling so that we don't have to draw these manually, which is fantastic. So if I was to maybe want to assign a different type of wall type, all I would do here is I would just click on that option and I have the option now to change it to a different type of wall type if I would like. Um, the other kind of thing that I just wanted to show you here is actually if I click on this site work, what you can see is that these uh, materials here have gone blue. Now, at the moment, it's selected as background only. So this means that it's going to be imported to the uh, project file, but it's not going to assign any kind of wall attenuation values to these materials. Um, but what you can do is that say that you wasn't interested in seeing the site work, I could come into here and I could select the hidden option. And now what this means is that Eggho is not even going to bother to import this part of the uh, CAD file into our project file. So if you've got a lot of stuff happening on the floor plan that you don't want to import to your floor plan then you can just hide it but if you want it to be there uh, but not assign an attenuation value because it gives some good reference points then you can by all means keep it and now I'm ready to hit the import button on the bottom right hand corner of the screen but I just want to point out here that it's really important that you're happy with the materials that you've assigned already uh, on this option because once you hit import it's not possible to reopen this window for your imported floor plan. You would have to make the changes manually inside of the file or you'd have to re-import the file. So just make sure you're happy and then you're going to hit import. And what it's going to do now is show up some of the funny messages as it's importing that uh, file. But what we can see now is that it's assigned the wall values that we chose or Echo already had discovered and assigned automatically to these materials and drawn them for us. So if I just zoom in, for example, say over here, we can see we've got our drywalls and we've got all of the doors already drawn, which is going to save us so much time. So that is how we can import the different types of floor plan file types into Echo AI Pro and scaling. Scaling is so, so important. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I just thought I'd mention it one more time before the end of this video.